I've been trying to determine um, what sort of camshaft might be in this T20M engine fitted in this Tiger Cub. As a lot of them of that era might have had the R camshaft as it's called and the 9 to 1 or even 10 to 1 piston. Now I suspect, I haven't checked yet, but I suspect there might be a high compression piston in this engine. But one thing I know for certain now is it has a standard camshaft in it because I've got the exhaust rocker cover off there and what I've been doing I've been turning the engine and I've been watching the valve move from fully closed to fully open and I've actually been able to measure the amount it opens by on this vernier gauge fairly accurately not down to the last thousandth of an inch but uh, to um, a tolerance that I would be happy to sort of trust and tell myself that there's a standard camshaft in there and how do I know that? Well I can back it up quite simply by, we don't need too much light here but uh, here's my uh, trials cub replica and I've taken the exhaust rocker cover off that and I've also measured the amount of valve movement on that one from fully closed to fully open and I know that there's a standard camshaft in that engine because I built it so if we're getting the same amount of valve lift on this one it's got a standard camshaft in it and interestingly enough I've got there's a brand new old stock standard camshaft there and the lift on that looks quite small and just to sort of complicate matters you might think here's an R camshaft with much more lift. Let's see if we can have a look at both of them sort of back to back. There they are. Hopefully it's possible to see. There's a lot more lift and duration on the R camshaft than on the standard one. Um, and just to complicate matters a little, the uh, lift I'm getting of just short of nine millimeters is around about uh, what you got on the R camshaft from the base circle to the tip of the cam which might make you think ah well it must have an R cam in it then but hold on because there's more to it than that take a look at the rocker now there's the end that the push rod operates and there's the end that bears on the valve stem and look at the difference in length now I would say I don't know for certain but if you look at the centre line where the rocker spindle would pass through there's a lot more rocker arm bearing down on the valve than there is from the push rod end. So radially there's a lot more reach. So the rocker has got what's called a ratio and I would suspect, I don't know because I haven't measured it, but I would suspect that you're probably somewhere in the region of around 1.2 to 1. So say for every millimetre movement you get there, from the cam and the push rod you're going to get more at the valve in the region of 1.2 times how much this end moves so with the standard camshaft once it's operated the push rod through the rocker the valve will move more than the lift that the cam would impart on it directly because it's multiplied slightly so the lift of the standard cam is magnified to around about the direct lift that you get off the R cam but let's, let's not forget that the R cam also works through the same kind of rocker which also increases the amount of lift imparted on the valve so I've thought about this and I've looked at the uh, my sports cub uh, trials cub replica and I've measured the lift of the exhaust valve on this engine and the lift of the exhaust valve on the trials cub replica engine and they're the same and I know the trials cub replica has got a standard cam in it so we've got a standard camshaft in this so we want 10 thou inlet and 10 thou exhaust valve clearances it would have been um, 4 thou exhaust and 2 thou inlet for a sports cam um, you, you can run them you can run a standard cam uh, tighter than the 10 thou. I don't know why they did that. When you get a cam with more lift you actually reduce the clearance 
so, sort of sounds a bit back to front, but whether it was because the standard road going Tiger Cub was the main one that the learners would get and perhaps it was to give people more of a margin on the valve clearances in case they cocked it up and got it wrong, I don't know. Um, but it's quite feasible to run something like 6 and 8 or 4 and 6 thou on a standard cam. But uh, I'll make sure that we've got no more than 10 thou on each of these for certain because there has been a little bit of uh, noise that sounded like it might have been a bit of valve clatter so I'll see what I can get there and then I'll get the spark plug out and I'll have a look and see what sort of piston we got in there and I'm reckoning that by the sort of resistance I'm feeling on the kickstart and the short duration of the standard camshaft there may well be a 9 to 1 in there but I don't know of, of yet but um, as of yet but uh, we've certainly I'd bet money on there being a standard camshaft in this engine.